Hey guys, this week I'm going to show you how to do advanced mixing with Kong, which I've, before I've showed you how to do it with Redrum, but I'm going to show you how to do it with Kong now, which is a little bit more advanced and a little bit harder than it was with Redrum if you watched that video. Um, a thing to note, since this is, there's a lot to do in this video, so if you don't want to do it, I have uploaded the video to a file share, and there's a link in the description to my blog where you can find this link, and download it from there, and you don't have to do anything, you can just copy and paste it into your own document. But first thing is first, you can open up two Mixer 14 twos. And if you flip it around, you can see that the chaining master is already automatically routed. And the next thing you're going to need to do is create a Kong drum designer. Um, right now, we don't need any mix channels for the individuals because the first one created for the mixer. Kong auto routed and we need to get rid of that. I believe yes. Now we're gonna want to create one mix channel and then command D or control D if you're on PC. So you're gonna click on the mixer channel and then press that fifteen times. That means we have fifteen mix channels plus the first one that we created which is 16 how many pads are on the Kong 16 uh, the reason why we have two mixers is because there's only 14 on one and we need those two more slots it seems like a waste of a mixer to me but you have to do it another thing is you can see that the pads are one two three and three because of the drum assignment you need to click on that fourth one and make it drum assignment four and the hit type needs to be changed to one also and as you come along the list you're gonna see the eighth one is on three and you need to change that to eight and that's all you need to do but the reason why is because Kong, reg Kong is registered by pads not outputs so different pads if I had left these three and this one three they would all come out of the same output and what we want is to come through three different outputs because that's a lot better down the road when you want to start mixing your track now that we have that we're gonna come to the first one and then we're going to paint it to the left. Odd numbers are left, even numbers are to the right. So just go all the way through there like that. And for 16, all the way to the right. And one thing you want to note is the painting is not going to fix, it's not going to affect your mix in the end because you're going to do all your panning in this mixer. So now that you have everything panned left and right, which makes it a mono output, we're going to go through each one, show drum and effects. For one, instead of master effects down here in drum output, we're going to make it main output left and right. For two, we're going to make it the same output left and right. And for three, you can see that it'll be three and four, which is three is left, four is right. And you're going to go through all of these and put them to their corresponding number. And the final two is 15 and 16. So now that we have everything routed to the appropriate channel, we're going to flip it around. We're going to come up to the mix and change the mixer channel, and we're going to call this Drum Master. And I'll show you why at the end of this video when we switch over to the mixer, and I'm going to show you what's going on exactly. Alright, first thing we're going to want to do is route the main audio output from the Kong. We're going to drag it down to the very first mixer channel we created into the input left. Then we're going to take the right and put it into the left input of the second mix channel we created. Scroll back up to three and four. And then do the same. Put one in the left, drag the one that got put in the right, and put it down in the left. And for the next one, we can drag the left, and bring it up, put it in five and six, then scroll back down. Take six out, get it done really quick. And you're gonna continue doing this as you go down in the very last two, which are 15 and 16. This is again why I've uploaded this file so you guys don't have to do this because this is a lot of routing. And it's just to come again. Now that we have everything routed, coming through their own inputs, and their own mix channel. Here, I'll show you. As they're going through switch back now we're gonna create that master on and off basically the volume for everything 
You're going to take the very first left and right, come all the way up to the first mixture you created and put it in slot 1. And then the second will go into the second mixer that, mix channel that you created. How this works out is every all the drum sounds are routed to their own mix channels, but the mix channels are being routed back into the separate mixers into the that we have here in our that we have in the rack right here. So the main output of those mixers, which are chained together, has its also its own mix channel. So when we use that mix channel, it acts as the master volume for all of them. And now we're towards the bottom, you see we have two left, and of course that's 15 and 16. And remember the first mixer only has 14, so we have to start on slot 1 in the second mixer that we created. And slot 2 will be the final mix, which would be 16. Now we can swap that around, and you can see you have this giant thing, which really, you don't even need this mixer. You don't need to see this. You just want to see your Kong. Everything else can be put down. And typically, because this does take up so much space, I would just click and select all of this good stuff here. And I will select all of it and then drag it over one. So I just always know that my drum tracks are to the left of the master section, which gives us all of this space again to create all of our other good stuff. Anyways. Another thing I do to keep it organized is on these channels, I'll label them as pad 1, pad 2, so and so all the way down to pad 16. So now when we go over to our mixer, you can actually see pad 16 right here, and then pad 1, 2, which would be labeled all the way through 16, and here's our drum master. Another thing I like to do is select everything once again here I have everything selected and I like to assign them as red so now when I create newer instances of other devices they won't be red they'll be a different color and it dist distinguishes my drum tracks from everything else and now that you have that you can see that everything plays on its own channel now and the drum master here you can see gets rid of that and that's how everything works remember you can go down on this file from my blog so check out my blog there will be a post that directly relates to this video so check that out find the download link and then download this file so you never have to do it again